One feature that I really like to use in PhotoPills is its augmented reality or AR feature. It's very helpful for scouting potential locations for sunrise, sunset, moon, Milky Way, star trails, and even meteor shower images. It's also helpful for fine tuning your compositions once you are on site and setting up your compositions. But you need to know a few things about the AR feature for it to work properly, including how to calibrate it before every use. And I'll show you how to do that right after this. Hey there photographers, Brenda Petrella here and welcome to another episode of PhotoPills Friday where we unlock the power of the PhotoPills app to help you learn it without all the confusion. Welcome to episode one of season two. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. And if you're brand new to PhotoPills, then I suggest you check out the episodes from season one first, since I break down the basics you need to learn to navigate the app in those videos. And I've gotten a lot of great feedback on how this series has been helping people learn PhotoPills, and I'm so grateful that they're making such a positive difference. And that's why I've decided to continue with a season two. In this week's episode, we're going to learn how to use and and calibrate the augmented reality or AR feature in the app, which takes advantage of your smartphone's camera and internal gyroscope and compass sensors. But before we begin, I need to mention three things that could affect the AR on your phone. First, the accuracy of the AR depends on the technology built into your phone. So some older phones may or may not give the most precise readouts. Also, if you have a device that does not have a built-in magnetometer, then the AR function won't be available. But if your device comes with a compass app, then likely it has a magnetometer. Second, if you use a phone case that contains a magnet, then you must first remove the case and then let the phone sit away from the magnet or any electromagnetic field for a few minutes before you attempt to calibrate and use the AR. And you may need to be patient for this. So for example, I have the iPhone XS and it took about 10 minutes after removing my magnetic case for the sensors of the phone to stabilize. And the way that I could tell that they were being all wonky was that the AR itself appeared to be extremely shaky and the AR display, which I'll review for you in a minute, would move around when I didn't want it to. So just be sure to remove your case and give your phone some time to relax before you calibrate the AR. Third, if you've never used the AR function before, then you may need to give PhotoPills permission to access your phone's camera. So if your camera does not have access, then when you activate the AR mode, a message will pop up to tell you that camera access has been denied and you just need to change that permission in your phone setting for the app so that it can access the camera. Okay, now let's dive into the PhotoPills planner and see how the AR works. PhotoPills has two types of augmented reality, which you'll see at the bottom of the planner. One for the sun and moon, which is just called AR, and one for the moon, Milky Way, star trails and meteors called night AR. And you can access these here in the planner, obviously, but you can also access them from some of the other tools or pills inside PhotoPills as well. Note that the information you get with the AR and night AR depends on the location of the red pin. So to use it effectively, be sure you have the red pin set at your current location when you use the AR feature to fine tune your plans and compositions. Okay, so now let's click on AR at the bottom. First, notice at the top of the camera area, you see the date and time. And this is the date and time that was set in the planner before you entered the AR mode. And if you want to set it for your current date and time, just click on now in the upper left corner and it will reset to your current date and time. You can also scroll forward or backward in time by swiping left or right. And you can also jump ahead by 24 hours by tapping on the right hand side of the screen or tapping on the left hand side of the screen. And if you want to reset for your current time, again, you can just click on now or double tap in the center. And at the bottom of the screen, there are three icons, visual calibration, the focal length, which looks like two triangles pointing at each other and action. If you click on the focal length icon, you have the option of choosing between 26 millimeters or 52 millimeters. And these are the effective focal lengths provided by your phone's camera. So depending on the model of your phone, 
you may or may not see these exact options, and either one will work for the visual calibration of the augmented reality, so it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Let's now review what we're seeing on the screen. Now if I point the phone straight down, you'll see an orange compass in the middle with lines coming out from the center. These vertical lines represent the azimuth or orientation, such as north, east, south, and west, and the horizontal lines are the degrees of elevation, and they're separated by 10 degree intervals. The thicker gray line shows the horizon, and it also indicates the orientation that you're facing by indicating north, south, east, and west on the horizon line. Now, if you rotate your phone up towards the sky, you'll find the path of the sun, which is shown as a yellow line throughout the course of the day. And at the beginning part of the day, in blue hour, it is shown as a blue line. For sunrise, it's an orange line. And then for daylight, it is a yellow line. And you'll also note these dots along the line, which indicate where the sun should be at a certain hour of the day. Now, as you follow the yellow line around the sky, you'll come to a yellow or orange circle, and that's the photopills version of the sun. If you scroll backward in time, you can also see how the sun path moves across that line throughout the course of the day. The moon path is also visible, and it is represented by a blue line, and it also indicates the phase of the moon. So this information is helpful for visualizing where the sun or moon will be in your composition and figuring out what time of day and how you should position your camera to create the image that you have in mind. So let's go back to the planner and jump into the night augmented reality to see how it's different from the daytime augmented reality. So I'm clicking on night AR and the lines here are a little bit different. So you'll still see the, the gray line that's indicating the horizon as before, showing north, east, south, and west. And the thick blue line here is representing the celestial equator, which accounts for the tilt of the Earth. And the thin blue lines indicate the right ascension and declination lines. You can also see the Milky Way, depending on the time that you have set in the time. And the southern part of the Milky Way, which has the galactic core is shown by an orange circle, which makes it easier to see whether the galactic core will be above the horizon at the time of your shot. You can also see the movement and path of the stars as they are rotating around the sky. And this can help you plan star trail images as well. And lastly, if you have the meteor shower map layer turned on, you can also see where the radiant of upcoming meteor showers will be in the sky, as well as the path of the radiant. The radiant of a meteor shower is simply the area of the sky where the meteors appear to originate from. So the radiant is shown by this meteor shower looking icon and the white line indicates its path. Okay, so now let's calibrate the AR. Again, it's important to calibrate the AR before every use because magnetic fields can affect the internal sensors of phone and mess up the accuracy of the AR. And it doesn't matter if you calibrate from within the day AR or night AR features, either approach will work fine. So to start the calibration, click on visual calibration at the bottom of the screen. A message will pop up with instructions on how to calibrate the AR. Just click OK for now. So to calibrate the AR, it is best to first do about five figure eights like this with your phone. And this helps to reset the phone's sensor. Next, either find the sun or moon in the sky and align the photopills sun or moon icon with the actual sun or moon by swiping left or right or up or down to get them aligned. So I'm going to try to do this without blinding myself with the sun. And once they are aligned, click confirm calibration. And that's it. If you want to go back to your previous calibration setting, you can then click on reset calibration while you're still in the calibrated mode. And then all you have to do is click done to return to the planner. So the next time you're scouting a location or planning a sunrise or sunset or night sky image, then be sure to use the augmented reality feature to help you plan out your composition. 
In next week's episode, we will learn how to plan a meteor shower image using the meteor shower pill. And so if you're hoping to photograph the upcoming August Perseids meteor shower, you're in luck. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.